what is best in life. Uh, today we join Sultan Alandin II for episode 20 of Zoroastrian Restoration, where beginning as a sheik, a Zoroastrian sheik in the Sunni Abbasid Caliphate, I attempt to re I attempt to become emperor of Persia and restore the Zoroastrian faith, thus allowing me to declare myself Seoshent or one of the three saviors of the per of the Zoroastrian religion. And if I succeed that far, I don't know if I'll get anywhere near that far, but if I do, I will try to conquer Rajasthan as well, the emperor next to Persia, uh, which in modern times and back then is where the Zoroastrians fled after leaving the uh, Persian Empire after the Abbasid control. Those 95% of Zoroastrians converted in the succeeding centuries to uh, become Sunni Muslims, but the, those that didn't, and there are only 200,000 left in the world, uh, fled to India, where there are now more Zoroastrians than in the original lands of Persia. But that being said, that's not happening in our world so far. The slaughter of the Jaws family, where we slaughtered uh, four sultans in four short episodes, has come to us a, at least it's slowed down, and uh, this sultan, survived an entire episode on his own. Uh, I am trying to put down a vassal rebellion in Tabaristan over here. I am trying to conquer Kurdistan, which is one of the holy sites of Zoroaster. Uh, so I'll just get the clock going and uh, get the conquests underway and check out my siege of, and I'm still trying to put down, I am also trying to seduce a uh, Yedlam who was all the way over in, where is she anyway? Uh, she is in the Uyghurs band. I'm not sure where that is. Uyghur, U-Y-G-H-U-R. There is no rush. I'll keep trying to seduce her as she is both quick and attractive and ambitious. And I, for one, would like to have a child with her with those traits in my house. And I will try to siege down Dalem, which should give me enough war score to put an end to the Jaws Revolt, Jahandar. I only have a 95% war score. That's because I've lost control of Dalem. And can I even siege Dalem? Or no, I'll just wait for another couple of weeks. And that will end this war. And then I will move on to Kurdistan. And there's the army over there. My seduction is not going very fast because she is distant. And no, I don't want to become a counselor in your empire as you just do that to kill me. It took me four episodes, but I figured that out. And now this will end in forced demands. The war against the Sultan of Alandin has over. I won. Now is he, he is still Sheik of Alamut. I will revoke the title Sheikdom of Alamut, and there is no rush, and I will revoke the title. I want to get him out of the mosque as well. Sheikdom of Tabaristan. It's only my other Sunni vassals that will get upset with me. And then the mosque. There we go. I've stripped him of his titles. Now I am holding a mosque, which I do not want to do, but I will get over and get sieging down to Baristan. Um, I'm not even sure who this enemy is from Mosul, if he's from, is this the, let me check the duchy, Kurdistan, yes, and Kurdistan is the name of the duchy and the name of the sheikdom that I wish to conquer, but it is Kurdistan that I wish to get my hands on. And I have too many titles. I need a mosque. So I need uh, my, uh, I think this was filter number th two. Uh, no, filter number two seems to be empty. So I'll get going over to Kurdistan. I will threaten the vassal. Uh, gender, men, my religion, my culture. Uh, my cousin is conspiring against me. She has an opinion of 100. Good old Sheik Elk. But I need someone with a high learning. He's already a Herbad, so a ruler. No, not a ruler. The court physician of Mosul 
I'll keep trying to do this. I'll see if he will accept. Uh, I don't want to recruit you from Satan. I want to grant you land. Disaster. Another member of Lucifer's own has been conquered. I need them to be in dis diplomatic range. Now, I can't invite you to court. Um, why can't I offer you land again? Attempt to abduct. There's no rush. All right. What about this? The Mobad. Uh, is he already in my? He's Mobad of Dehistan. I'll grant him a landed title. The Varam. Uh, they burned another one of Satan's own at the stake. And I have an open council position. It's, I think I gave away a title to my own Mobad. 17, there we go. Now, I need to start proselytizing non-Zoroastrians. Kazwin is safely Zoroaster. Gurgan is. Tabriz is Sunni Muslim. So, uh, actually, that's kind of weak. I'll go for a heresy. There's a Kazwin is Mazdan. Galan, Tabaristan. I'll put Alawant, Alamut, and I'll proselytize there. As the heresies of Zoroaster have less or moral authority, the moral authority of Zoroastrianism is only 30%. I think for the Sunni faith, it's 100%. So I won't have much luck trying to proselytize against Muslims. Songs of Anguish. My nights are plagued by terrible nightmares featuring the vile tannist of Kate, my rival brother in darkness. He howls and roars at me to tune the infernal bagpipes while Torres looks on, bellowing with laughter. I am sure that our man is sending me these dreams for a reason. I must prove myself worthy or be discarded as a weakling, such as the way of Lucifer's own. Invite Ergist over for some fun. Oh, and that reminds me, I put off desecrating this temple for too long. I'll have to desecrate, desecrate this temple. Songs of Anguish. As Ergus arrived for our meeting, my servants threw a sack over him and beat the pickish jester into submission. He is now su snugly stowed in a brazen bowl that I had built especially for this occasion. Surrounding the bowl are some crucified scum from my uh, dungeon, drenched in oil. It took some work to find three genuinely insane musicians, but as I start up their demented tune and the fires are lit underneath the bowl, I can lean back and realize it was worth it. As soon as the first bellows start issuing forth from the bowl, I order the human candles lit. I close Close my eyes and hum along with the infernal choir. My nightmares conquered once and all. Wow. And I've gained the impaler trait. Yikes. That's uh, rather. That's. Uh, he's got a dark side, the Sultan. What is this box on my desk? Let's look inside. It's a bright white skull, gleaming like a jewel. Hmm, and there's a note. I really enjoyed the prank you tried to pull on me the other night. Good thing I wasn't actually in the bowl. You have seen your daughter. Bernadotte lately, your old friend Ergist. So now I'm going to become paranoid. And Ergist is now my nemesis. Uh oh. Ergist is going to try to kill me now. My preparations and plans have been made. A servant has been bribed to leave a side door to the temple and Talish open so I can I and some faithful servants can enter and do the dark biddings of Araman. And This cancer army, uh, cats and army, is bigger than mine, but hopefully it has nothing to do with me. As I and a group of faithful make our way through the temple, in I spot a uh, Urbad tending to their duties in the middle of the night. Due to my high intrigue skill, I can knock them out from behind and make a good uh, sacrifice. All right, I'll do that. Now I am sieging down for Kurdistan, Sheikh Mizra, Kurdistan. Navigating our way through the small temple, I and my companions have entered the small room that goes for the inner sanctum. The room contains the sparsest possible honorings to Ahura Mazda and a scant few decorative idols and relics. The state of this place shows clearly the superiority of our cause. These relics shall be put to better use. Uh, burn it all in the name of Aruman. Now, I still have too many titles. And there we go. I have desecrated a temple. 
just like I always wanted to do when I was a little boy. But now I have too many titles. Shake to move to Baristan. Now let me make sure that none of these vassals. Mayor of Sari. Uh, and yes, I'll torture someone. He he's an in, he thinks I'm an infidel. So my vassal Mary of Sari. Revolt City of Sari. There we go. Yeldum has not responded to the love letter I left on her pillow. I won't give up on her yet. Now. Mayor of Sarith is. And I should repay those Jewish money lenders. The intrigue panel. Uh, repay the loan. There we go. The, the corruption crept on me so slowly I did not realize what was happening to me before it was too late. What was the first lightest of limbs has now turned into a hideous deformity. When I rub my sword, twisted ankles, I can feel the darkness pulsating just under the skin. I knew I had power, but I become club-footed. Uh, my personal attraction is negative 10. Ah, being part of the devil's own. All right, he peacefully gave up the city. Now one children lacks an education focus, willful intrigue, stewardship, and martial. So I will go for stewardship. And assign a guardian. I'm just quickly hoping, hoping that those hardened high in stewardship also have good uh, traits that will lead her towards stewardship. And now, uh, he's the advisor, commander of Turkestan. Sure, let's go for an alliance. And. Gazume. Oh, she's ambitious. Good for her. Brooding intrigue. Why not try one with the intrigue focus just for a change? Oh, she's my daughter. Uh, assigned guardian. Uh, with the intrigue focus. Oh, I'm the highest in intrigue. I'll take her on myself. Okay, now can I get a alliance? I guess the uh, relationship's not close enough. I guess if your daughter is not the heir apparent or in the, okay, the city of Sari. Now what, now he's an Urbad, so he's going to be raised levies. Heretic, the mayor of Kazwin. I know my Sheik of Galan is upset that my Demesne is too big. Opinion of Lege, negative 100. Wow. Okay, uh, I've got to make him happier, get him on council. Uh, what's his good stat? His learning is half decent. I can make him my... I'll put him on council. Oh, I didn't... Oh, I didn't mean that. There we go. So my Avern Spablod is the uh, marshal. And I can't put my air on it. Darn it. There's no rush. Okay, I won the siege in Kurdistan. Disaster, your fellow member of Lucifer's own has been caught and executed. It's a sign for me to lay low. This option is available for your paranoid trait. And court a man. Yes, definitely. I'll try to lay low and avoid that fate. Now, I need to hand out some titles. I have double my limit. Okay, so... My religion, my culture, men. Search realm, court physician with a high stewardship. Nobody seems to have a high stewardship. Can I... Court physician... A land didn't prove. I can't, unfortunately, give out. I'll give him. Oh, Zia Elk. Oh, I wish I could give you a title already, dear cousin, but you're a bit too young. But I'll try to give you a. Uh, I'll try to give you something. 
What other titles? Okay, I'll check the vassals and just make sure none of them... This mayor of Kazwin is a heretic, and he also has been irritating me, so I will revoke. Only Manichaeans will object, so yes, I will take his title. And none of these are rulers. So he's walked away. And none of them have any stewardship whatsoever. Spymaster of Tabor. Oh. What about just my court? I only have two. And Hephaz, he's my culture. So even though he's possessed, I'll put him in charge of a city. What could go wrong? City of Sari. There you go. You're possessed and unqualified, but you're the right religion. So you qualify. There you go. That's how medieval titles are doled out. Um, and search vassals. The Mobat of Galan. Grant landed title. I'll put him in charge of the city. There we go. And a message about appointing commander. I don't want to be your commander. I want to live. I'm starting to think my cousin might fancy me. Oh, that's nothing. I'll go to Barr's chamber. Now, I still have three titles too many. I gave her a good tumble. It's good to be the Sultan. Yeah, if you can't sleep with your cousin, what? good as being royalty, really. So, um, what are the uh, weak? Ferzuk is Tabaristan. Yes, Tabaristan is Ferzuk. I'll give away that title to Alandon, Prince of Moose Jaws, my son. Disaster. It's a sign for me to lay low. They caught another uh, person. So, Prince of Moose Jaws. Now, where was that other? Here he is, Elg. Now, what other... Where is Shamaka? Okay, Shamaka. This is a Varam, so that's held in the city of Kuba. That's Shinjaju. That's his father. Oh, okay. So, here we go. I'll make... Uh, actually, I'll make the uh, son the uh, land title, the Sheikh over the father. So he is actually Sheikh of Kuba, Shemenka. There we go, include lower titles. The father is now the, his liege. There we go, that's a messed up family. My cousin is now the liege of his father, but that's good. It looks like he has some great traits. Good old El Gazia. And are there any more? Actually, I'll look for my great house, my dynasty. My religion, my culture, men, any. I got a lot of women, El. I can't stop thinking of all those prisoners in the dungeon. They are at my complete mercy. What a thrill it would be to hurt them, to hear the sweet screams, to see the panic in their eyes. Who is this woman? Oh, I'll give her a bit of torturing. There we go. I was perhaps a bit too enthusiastic torturing Gazelle. She did not survive this session. Oh well, who will ever know? I lost 10 prestige. So there's plenty of princesses in our house, but not a lot of males. Is my cousin? I should marry off my cousin. She's 19. Um, uh, I'll marry her matrilineally. I couldn't... Oh, the only matrilineal marriage I could make is to the Sheik of Tabaristan. A grand summoning. For some time now, my brother in darkness, Abdul, and I have been researching the proper ritual for invoking a greater diva. A few weeks back, our kin managed to procure an ancient clay tablet with the missing incantation. We stand ready now to attain powers and dreamed of by mortal man. 
unlimited power, we should think this through. Uh, summoning rituals of this magnitude carry serious risks. And my uh, seduction is taking forever. Arrange a marriage. I'll arrange it with the key bar. Uh, there we go. A grand summoning. Our coven surrounds the summoning circle. The correct symbol is drawn. The fatty candle is burning a sickly green. Abdul intones the final invocation just as I offer up the sacrifice. But I bungle the cot and the drugged child starts screaming. The dagger slips from my bloody hands when I hear the insane laughter issuing forth from the circle. Pathetic cattle. You are playing with forces you cannot comprehend. Learn your place. Pandemonium erupts as a fiery figure flashes into being and then starts to fade away. Some brethren start crying or shrieking. Others try to kill each other. One sister is trying to poke her own eyes out right in front of Abdul, who just stands there, drool running down the corner of his mouth. Ah, uh, I gain the trait dull? Oh, no. Oh, at least I married off my sister. So... Can I get a... And I don't have a non-aggression pact with them? Then why am I marrying off my family if I can't politically benefit? Araman's favors conjurer Aladdin, an opportunity to strike at the foolish followers of false gods who presented itself. Their Urbads and Gaz and Kuli are ignorant to the true state of the world, tear down their idols and steal their wealth in the name of Ariman. So I get to desecrate another temple. And let me see here. Am I? How is my siege going? Okay, that's not. Uh, I'm still trying to. Still trying to fight down Kurdistan, siege down Kurdistan, and that's still going. And I have one more title still to give out news from China, intending to enforce their subjugation as a tributary state of the Tang Empire. The Protector General has declared war upon Blush. Han armies are already marching towards the realm of Kag and Blush, and it seems possible that this spells the end of his uh, independence. I should check at the wild, wider world here for a second and see how things are going. Uh, looks like the Mahalabids have consolidated. The Abbasids have recovered a bit, and now they're fairly large, although they're half the size they were. Uh, unfortunately, the Byzantines have seized the rest of Azerbaijan from the Euclid dynasty, so I might not be, I won't be able to defeat the Byzantines for quite some time. The Stavas leave the Bajandid and the Samarkand, and the Western Protectorate is stretching down. So how are these emo... He only has an army of 1,300, supposedly. And why do why do I not have... Okay, I just have to... I do have a Casas Belly. I just have to get rid of my army levies and I can declare war on him. And I'm still trying to seduce this woman who is far away. And which is the sheikdom that is the weakest? Kanaj. That's Dalem. Uh, Dalen doesn't have the trading post, no. Roxana says her favorite toy is missing and she won't go to bed without it. I may have thrown it out today when I was tidying her up. She may gain fussy. Uh, guess I will have to go and find it. I found the toy Roxana was crying about after going through the trash, but now she's not satisfied because it smells. She's still mad at me. So I have to give away Dalem and I'll give... Uh, grant that title, Shiktum of Dalem. I sent Yeldon a beautiful necklace and covered her room with wildflowers. Today I found my bed full of wilted petals and a bent rusty nail on my pillow. She is feisty. I love a good challenge. A bent nail? I don't get it, but all right. Whatever you're into. Open council positions. My council has quit. My chancellor... I'll get the Urbad, and I guess I'll get him fabricating a claim. I'll lay low. Fabricating a loam in Shrazer. And my Derek Pat. Um, I'll get him collecting taxes in Gurgan. 
and my marshal. Oh, I actually have a marshal with a half decent ability to fight. Uh, I will get him to train troops in Gurgan. And now I still have to just siege this one more holding, but I still only have a 48% war score. A daughter was born to Sultan the Land and the Cruel. She's a bastard. Um, okay. If I legitimize her, I'll anger all my kids. And they'll try to kill me. I'll just acknowledge her as mine. And yes, there we go. So I have 56% war score. Now I'll go to Shazir. I can rank up in the society again. So I'll go from conjurer to priest. When will I find the time to travel so far? And I have quick time to desecrate a temple while I'm not conquering things. Boy, my army has really dissipated down to 900 soldiers. Wow, the attrition has really taken its hold. Uh, the plans have been made. The temple in Cooley will be open so that I and my faithful servants can do the dark biddings of Ariman. I and a group of my faithful make our way through the temple and I spot a Urbad tending to the duties in the middle of the night. Kill them, dead men, tell no tales. As my warriors approach the Urbad, they call out for help and grab a nearby candelabra. Within short notice, a small group of priests come rushing into the room and a melee breaks out on a great me. To arms for every man or retreat. Fails the mission, desecrate. 75% chance of no effect, all fight. At age 42, Urbad Lulia died under suspicious circumstances, and I rank up in Lucifer's own. And why am I not sieging down this holding? The relics shall be, I will gain 100 dark power with the relics, and I will appoint commanders. And actually, the mayor has finally good fighting skills. And Elg, Prince of Moose, Jaws, I won't send him. And him. And I'll appoint Elg, but I just gain the benefit of a plus 10 to his opinion. But I won't actually use him in battle. The night is silent as we exit the temple. Our foul rites making sure that the holiness of the place is tainted for years to come. Now, how do I... Occupation, Kurdistan, Battles. Why is it only 62%? I hopefully it's ticking over. Betrothed can marry. Uh, my cousin, great. Bahar's baby. My little daughter, Jamila, is not like other children. She does not scream or cry or even get upset, but she observes the world with keen interest. This morning, she burst into bubbling laughter when a cook cut his hand badly and there was blood everywhere. Animals do not like her, and she makes a strange buzzing sound when near other children. Courtiers whisper, demon spawn, and the servants have started to avert their eyes and make covert signs to ward off evil. Oh, that's my good old daughter too bad that she's a bastard. I must protect this child of anger of Mainyu. 50% uh, chance of no effect. 50% chance of suspected demon spawn. And I don't think anything happened. I'll check the messages log. Yes, I don't think I'm suspected of harboring a demon spawn. Although my heir doesn't like me very much. Uh, recently fired from council. Oh, I accidentally fired Sheik Elg from council. Darn it. Uh, now can I get a... Can I take a con... Do you have any concubines? She's 48, so that's a no. And I still need a concubine. Well... Well... 
that's it for this episode. I ranked up again in Lucifer's own to a dark priest, and I sieged down one province, and I am slowly winning the war for uh, Kurdistan and the holy site of Zoroastrianism. Uh, but my war score is only 62%. I'm not sure how to raise it further more quickly. And I did put down the Vassal Rebellion, and I believe all the non-Zoroastrian vassals, including the heretics, have been driven out of my amp, uh, driven out of my kingdom. And I'm expanding into Kurdistan. Unfortunately, Byzantine seized Azerbaijan, so I will not be able to seize Azerbaijan from the Byzantine Empire anytime soon. However, I will be able to seize land from the north, hopefully, before the Chinese Protectorate gets there, after I'm done sieging uh kurdistan uh and that's what we'll be up to next episode if you've enjoyed this episode uh, please hit the subscribe button and perhaps the bell so you get notification of my new videos i hope you uh enjoyed the episode and have a good day